Elevated in the past. Oh yeah, Gage was elevated. Took down Ryan Matthews and drop kicks Hades X1 X to the outside. They're gonna work together in tandem. Watch this. Diamond body attacks in stereo. And AJ Rex is climbing to the top. CSW five way scramble match. One fall to the side. What a kamikaze environment this should be. The beautiful Ryan Matthews and CJ Esparza going at it again from three weeks ago. Ryan got the victory by questionable means three weeks ago using the official to trip Esparza before dropping him with a reverse DDT. Tag rules apparently in effect when one leaves the ring another can enter. The sudden death environment, lots of cool matchups here. Remember, save and gauge, the limit breaker, CJ Esparza, the most dope. They were involved in a four-way match back in March. I believe that was a match of the night candidate. Interesting test between these two, two of the best high flyers in Chicago style wrestling today. Kyle and Elbow tie up. As far as they're trying to rebound off of some previous setbacks in 2020 thus far, looking for a big win this year as he gets the shoulder tackle on Gage. Gage. A smaller high flyer in this match. But AJ Raditz is an extreme high flyer himself. And we definitely know about the high flying credentials of Hades X1X in his previous lifetime. And Ryan Matthews wrestles a totally different style, but what a devastating Head Sisters takeover. Nearly dropping as far as on his head. Spinning Head Sisters takeover. And as far as fires back. And look at that stalemate right there. Top-notch high flyers and great agile athletic individuals. And Ryan Matthews inserts himself into the formula before dropping both individuals right onto the outside. I think Esparza hit that steel barricade on the far side very hard. New matchup. AJ Raditz. One of the great new tag team champions in the scene elsewhere to get a shot against Ryan Matthews here today. And this guy has a ton of speed and quickness. Beautiful spinning heel kick. One of the frantic extreme high flyers of Chicago stop from the Futures Division. It's a snap suplex. He joined several others in the past to try to attack members of the Bruce Brothers, but he's getting a lot of positive responses here today. And you just saw the ease at which he can hit a springboard body attack, that moonsault press, but here's Hades X1X trying to physically insert himself into this battle. And now he is declared the legal participant in this one. Very scary, very frightening. One of the most chaotic machines of annihilation and destruction in all Chicago style wrestling. Making poor AJ Raditz experience pain in his chest. A very violent main streak designed to thrash, cripple, mangle, and destroy anybody that steps in his way. And he might rule CSW through questionable means. Whether he's got to have lights shut down, whether he has to drop individuals on their head, whether he has to end careers, he's done it in the past. Was elevated, took down Ryan Matthews, and drop kicks Hades X1X to the outside. Watch out from behind. Esparza was ready to strike. And now the two fan favorites, they were making things interesting early. They're going to work together in tandem. Watch this. Dying body attacks in stereo. Down goes two of the individuals on the outside. Ryan Matthews and Hades X1X take the fall. An incredible moment in this five-way scramble match, an unpredictable environment that could see some crazy high-risk maneuvers. And AJ Ritz 
known for crazy corkscrew body attacks. He's climbing to the top. Get a load of this. Oh my. What a flying body attack. He knocked out all four of the opponents on the outside. The crowd in on and shock of what they're witnessing here. And heck, this is outside of the parking lot of the pizzeria. How amazing is this? No ceilings of a building to worry about. They could fly as high as they want. Duck and Carter ran, it's on the top. Ran it again, blind ball. He turned himself into a, a ball on that flying body attack. Will he win it all? No, oh, two count there. AJ Raddatz trying to take this match over after he knocked four men down on the floor. Trying to respond. Rolling snap there and then that kick. 86-1-X now taking control of the situation. Well, he doesn't care if he's got to break necks, break spines. He's going to do whatever in his power to make the lights go out on anybody and make everybody drop dead at the sight of him. Brad is trying to defend himself, but look at that Pele kick by 86-1-X. He got the big win on a six-man in Lake in the Hills, and he's trying to win it all right here. There's the touch of Malice, the devastating muscle buster. No one's been able to break out of this yet. Oh, look at that. Saving Gage trying to break up the pinning attempt, but he did a splash right there on AJ Raditz, and Saving Gage takes a terrible fall on the outside. Timing attack by Esparza denied. 86 1X with the elbow on the back of the head. Pump handle. Tried the drop dead move again. He wants to hit that drop dead into a Koji clutch. Does Hades X1X. Look at CJ Esparza with creative offense. Using his experience to sweep the legs off from underneath Hades X1X. Esparza wants a win badly and against four opponents at once. He will get noticed again in CS3. Sky high, cross body block. And Ryan Matthews breaks it up this time. Back and forth, back and forth. What incredible action we've got here. Big time suplex. That has stunned Esparza. And Ryan Matthews, in a scholastic career in multiple sports, has demonstrated his athletic prowess as he almost put away Esparza right there. It's Ryan Matthews on his birthday weekend, and he wants to reign supreme in a CSW ring by any way necessary. And he's riding high off of his, his win on CJ Esparza three weeks ago, one of the most hated. And there is a lot of jealousy because of the way that he looks, and now he grabs his big head from one of the fans in the crowd. The man with class and sophistication, very entertaining, runs the beauty shop, his own version of the truth, as he shows his big head right there to CJ Esparza. Spinning heel kick! Brian Matthews' big head crashed right into his cranium. Well, if you're so, if you're so much into yourself, of course your big head is going to take over. What a spinning giddy T that was! The limit breaker! Taking Esparza! And a roll to the outside out of instincts alone. And now saving Gage with unfinished business in the past with 80s X1X trying to knock his legs up. Beautiful Northern Light suplex. Oh, so close. Actually, it was a German suplex with a bridge and he couldn't win it right there. Saving Gage already suffering a defeat at the hands of 80s X1X earlier. Tremendous high flyer, a CSW future star that's truly branching out and getting better with every battle. And every single match is an opportunity for him to steal the show and amaze the masses. But he's had so many conflicts in the past and he's having a hard time defending himself against the stronger and more powerful Hades X1X with a reputation of really hurting people. <laughs> and he's still looking for his first win as Saban Gage and wouldn't it be amazing if he could get it at the hands of Hades X1X and get some revenge off of previous setbacks. <laughs> Drop dead again, Koji Clutch. This is what happened three weeks ago. Will Gage give up again? 
Gage had no choice. 86 1X has duplicated his success and has defeated four opponents at once in this five man scramble match. The winner, Hades X 1X! Saving Gage, it happened again. Undersized, so much heart, but not enough to handle Hades X 1X. Drop dead. A spinning pump panel fly wire on a cogent clutch. Gage had to give up. Ace X would access the replay of Chicago style wrestling. Related by the able to stop him. Drive, keep that in mind. 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 Drive, keep that in
Hey! Ah!